So today we're going to talk about haversacks. It's a very popular uh, piece of gear for, for tons and tons of bushcrafters, woodscrafters, campcrafters, um, wild camping guys. And when you first start to get in to any of the outdoor um, genres, you're going to get flooded with a ton of content on haversacks. There's hundreds of companies out there that make them. They're made out of all different kinds of materials, different sizes, different shapes. Now, the biggest mistake that I think that a lot of people make is they do watch a lot of content on, on particularly haversacks. And what I want you to keep in mind is that when you are watching um, popular content creators using haversacks primarily, there are things behind the scenes that you're not seeing. And for example, one of those is that nine out of 10 times, they are close to a water source and they have access easily to water. The other thing is that they most always have some kind of permanent shelter or shelter system in place that's already there. These two things are crucial and vital when we're thinking about putting together a, a viable um, um, haversack kit in which we can go out into the wild, have fun, stay safe. The real honest truth is that it is almost impossible to take just a haversack, pack it with a few things and go into the wild and have fun for a weekend. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's just not gonna happen. And the biggest issue with using a haversack and a haversack kit is being able to take your essentials, water being one of them, shelter being another. Now, I do have a couple of additions that you can make to your haversack kit that can make life a lot easier for you and, and can definitely help uh, make it more of a positive experience for you when you're out there. One of those is think about adding a uh, belt rig or a belt kit. Now, this is an OH. They're made in, they're made in the United States. Great heavy, great heavy belt. Awesome company. Um, there are a lot of companies out there that make these. Most, most of the real good ones are very expensive and they come from overseas in Sweden and Norway. Now, what's great about these is that you can use the belt for just a ton of things that, while you're out there. And also, you can strap them over your clothing. Easy to add bags like this hide and drink canvas bag. And there's tons of bags out there. Now what these bags allow you to do, <coughs> excuse me, is to pack things like fire kits, first aid kits, you know, uh, tools that you want to have easy access to, stuff that you don't have to throw in your haversack. It's always good. And it's comfortable to wear these on a, on, in a, a hiking situation. It's very comfortable to wear a belt with a, with a belt bag and, and um, you know, some slings like this or sleeves like this carry your hatchet and your knives. The other thing that I want you to think about is incorporating a canvas axe sling like this. This one's and I have my saw and my camp axe in here. Now the reason why these are so good is that it's the perfect shape to use to wrap a bedroll around. Now I've done it many many times it's comfortable, it's convenient, it's easy. Again, it's going to take stuff out of your haversack, put it somewhere else, and give you more room in your actual haversack. But ideally, if you're looking at getting into haversacking, and you're looking at taking a extreme minimalist approach to the outdoors, keep in mind food, water, and shelter and keep in mind how limited you really are space-wise with just a basic haversack. I do highly recommend picking up a small lightweight day pack like this one. They're inexpensive, they're lightweight, they're easy to carry, and it'll give you a ton of room uh, to carry food, water, and shelter and not take away from the, the outdoor experience of using a haversack. Now, always stay safe and always plan ahead and think ahead. 
Bushcraft is not a survival game. A lot of people want to say that it's a survival game. They come at it with a survival aspect, but that's not bushcraft. Bushcraft is an intentional, or woodscraft, or even wild camping. Those are all intentional acts that we're taking, and we know that we're going into a wild situation. It's silly of us to think that we can do that and not be prepared. Always prepare your kits with the conditions and the, the uh, intentions on, on your trip. Always make sure you have water and food. Don't get caught up in stuff like, hey, I can just go out in the woods for three days and live with the haversack. Yes, you could, but you're not gonna have fun. And you might be putting yourself into a situation where it's dangerous. So keep all that in mind. If you are thinking about getting into haversacking, I do highly recommend it. It's an age old tradition and it's very fun to use. Just please look at using something else to carry food, water.